At this stage, we have coded all our classes for a functioning SOAP endpoint. We ran our SOAP service using the Maven Tomcat 7 plugin, and we could see the dynamic whistle generated for us by the Spring Web Service. Here we try to hit the SOAP endpoint with our browser without success. The reason for that is that the SOAP protocol is an older legacy web service protocol that is independent of HTTP, unlike the more modern REST web service that is built on top of HTTP. Now with REST service, we can often use a regular web browser to access our REST endpoint, which is not the case for SOAP. So here we will need a special tool to test our SOAP endpoint and we will use SOAP UI. This is the SOAP UI website and we are going to download and install the open source version of SOAP UI. Now here we have SOAP UI, the open source version, opened and we are going to create a new SOAP project. It's asking here for an initial whistle, and we know that we have an automated whistle that is generated for us. So what we will have to do is capture that whistle in a document and insert it here into our new SOAP project. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's cut and paste this whole whistle document. I'll open up my trusty notepad editor. Create a new document and paste in the whistle. Now save it as a whistle document. Save it on my desktop. Looks like Notepad set it up for us. Now going back to SOAP UI. Here we see that it has imported the whistle document. It shows the service endpoints and it gives us a good overview of all the types included in the whistle document. And then down here, it actually has a test document that we can use to hit the insurance service endpoint. So let's put in some dummy data. And let's see what happened when we hit the spring endpoint. Whoops, that doesn't look too good. Nothing happened. It says no endpoint mapping found for Spring WS insurance quest. Now, why did testing our SOAP endpoint not work in SOAP UI? Here's a hint. If we look at our Spring Web Services Servlet.xml, and we realized that our SOAP endpoint is in the Comnico Designs Web Services package, and we made the mistake here of scanning the base package of our generated classes. All we have to do is change this so that our component scanning will actually pick up our service and web endpoints. Now let's rebuild clean package in Maven. Let's rerun with Tomcat. It's restarted. So let's see if we still get our whistle. Looks like it's still being generated. So let's move into SOAP UI once again. And now I've set it up everything in here and let's see what happened if we submit the request here. 
and here we have success so that was our problem and we see that we are getting a soap body of the insurance response back with our hard-coded elements from our insurance response service and if we go back into IntelliJ we see the uh, right response has written everything to the console for us and success we have now fully implemented a soap web service endpoint using spring web services i will include the zipped up file along with this tutorial so that you can download it and use it as a basis to start with your own soap web endpoint success